So today we work on this. Funny angles. Second, pull you over. There we are. <coughs> so I have this. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Mike Deacon laser cut art journal. Okay. Comes with your hardware. I've lost one of these somewhere, but I'm only going to use two of them, which is fine. These bits as well, sorry. Um, and I've cut my pages. I'm just going to use some graph card. I know what you're thinking, oh, she's starting a new journal. But this one is different. I've got all these photographs. Sorry, that's my phone. It's my work friend checking up on me, I think. I'm off with COVID. Um, <laughs> and these photographs are all from these art journaling magazines they're the photo, they're pieces of artwork that I find or journaling that I find inspirational and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture so this one is the same artist two photos so I'll probably put them in there write the artist and which issue they were in and I'm going to slip a little journaling card behind decorate it in sort of my response to the artwork and then write on the back what it is about the artwork that I find the most inspirational. So this is going to be my little inspiration gallery. So, <clears throat> today, with you, I will decorate the cover. Um, and I thought I would go dark. Um, I'm going to cover these holes up because uh, I don't want to use that particular type of binding. This journal, if you haven't seen it, um, I might link, try and link a video of Mike's. Um, sorry, I thought I was all prepared and I forgot to get out my collage bits that I want. Oh, my guillotine just slipped down. So, yeah, so it's a Mike Deacon product. And there are two or three ways that you can bind this so you can use the rings or you can do what I'm going to do and you can use the spine Papers, God knows what. I'm going to try and use it. Let's use it up. Right. So I want a bit of text. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise outside as well. So I'm playing around in this shed. <laughs> I'm doing fossils, I do believe it's doing today. Okay, so we'll get a bit of text on there. Collage. Mm. A few straight pieces on the edge. You can always cut round it, of course. There we go. Just get it all stuck down randomly. That way. So I might just time lapse this bit just because I'm just going to be playing collaging. Um, I think I'm going to use some gel medium just because it's going to handle all the mediums. I'm going to be very careful when I use this napkin. So I've got these lovely dark flowers that I want to use. And I think I want to start dark and then perhaps lighten it up towards the end. Maybe. We'll see. So uh, enjoy the ride for a minute and I'll be back. Bird on a tree 
I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. kind of see it peeking through a little bit in places probably see it more once the glue is dried plus I the collage was just a base really so the uh, napkin would show up on that dark background so I shall get that dry and then we will figure out what we're going to do next because I don't know probably a bit of gesso splashy yeah okay so, this is a great substrate for collage, by the way. It uh, doesn't buckle or bend or anything like that. Takes it really well. Now then, I'm just going to use my finger and just rub. Gesso on. Be careful though, because I haven't dried it all that well. Blend it out. I think I want to do a lot to this really. Try that off and then I'm going to grab a stamp, I think. Add a little bit of text back into that background. Okay, so I have my uh, stamp, a smarter stamp. So we're going to use this. have a few little black bits on the white areas. I can only just see it which is perfect. We don't want it to be too strong, just a suggestion. Something that you can barely read. And then this is the Hero Arts um, white that Marta, she did a test of white inks and this was her, one of her favourites. And I purchased it and I think I've used it one or two times, but I'm going to use that today. And yes, I'm going upside down with that one. Again, it doesn't have to be 
perfect, it's just texture. cover on my desk don't I just want to get a bit busy and then I have these um, visible image stamps and I have a lot yes I do And I'm going to go for Inspire, so this is going to be like my inspiration journal. And I'm going to use the black and hope it comes out nicely on that there. Fussed about the definition coming out on this one, but I would like the word inspired to be nice and bold. So we shall see. Good. Come on. Please. Yes. Lovely. And now we need something colourful, nice colourful butterfly I'm thinking. So where am I going to find that? Well, maybe one of my sticker books will have a lovely butterfly. So, I shall go and find one and I shall be right so I've gone into my birds, bees, bees, birds and butterflies sticker anthology and I've got this one and I'm going to trim the edge off because I don't want that particularly We're done. Okay. Let's have a bit of glue. Stick the soft gel mat. Yeah, and I'm going to go over that just to, oh, move it over a little bit actually. Mm, I just realised I might have gone a bit close with that Inspire. Oh well. I'm going to put my binding on yet. and do some of that. It's not super shiny these stickers but they are a little bit shiny so if we can uh, turn it on a bit more matte that would be nice. There we go. Now 
what I'm going to paint on the hardware. So I'll pop that to one side for a minute. And I'm going to paint these in Artiste, Ducraft Artiste Titanium Gold. And I'm going to use the sponge. plastic there, that's good. I'm not worried about perfection. Just trim it, especially not on this side because this side is going to be covered with the fabric binding. And on this side, I'm going to grab some discolored paint and just brush the edges because I think that will look nice. Now then, back of the book, I think I'm going to um, just paint it black, black gesso. And add the gold. Yes, so I'll get on and do that. And then once everything's dry, we can start putting something together. Everything should be dry enough to work with now, so let's just pop a little bit of gel medium on the back of these. So, noise outside. It's a bit much. I'm going to stop in a minute so this dries, what's the better, and it'll be finished by then. <laughs> it'll look nice and quiet, so I've stopped. <laughs> Always the way, isn't it? Anyway. Hopefully you won't be able to hear it, sometimes you don't. Ah! I don't want to put these on yet, do I? Because I'm going to have my fabric binding there, I'm going to put that on top. So I don't want that. <laughs> so I'll just do the lock and then I need to find some paper for the inside. Before I do anything I need to remember to put the holes in my papers. So I've got to try and think what order I want to do everything in. Oozing, but that's fine. There we go. So I put some masking tape over the holes on the back, and it's kind of bubbled a little bit, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. <coughs> and we'll leave that to one side, uh, and then I'll just show you what I'm going to do with pages, and then I'll go away and do it. You don't need to sit there and watch me do it. <coughs> so basically, I'm going to grab my papers. 
and not put them down on the desk because it's dirty. Uh, and grab <coughs> this. And this has got holes in it for you to sew your binding on. So I'm going to match up my papers. Probably draw a line at the top for where the papers are going to sit so they all <coughs> sit evenly. I can put that down because so it's going to get covered anyway. And then I'll put my holes in. So uh, I've got a pencil, pen, or pen will do. It doesn't work, but do that. Then I can put my holes in. And then when I've put my journal together, I can sew the pages in. And then we can do the binding <laughs> on the outside because I don't want my stitches to show on this one. <clears throat> so I'm going to put a fabric binding over the top. Sorry, my stomach's rumbling now. I may have to pause for a lunch break. And I'm going to use this. Well, actually, I may just use the duct tape. mind. This is um, carpet tape and I was going to put some fabric on the outside. Is it very much? Oh, you see that's not very wide. Is that wide enough? That's not wide enough either. Okay, so scrap both of those ideas. I might just... Oh, actually no, I can still use that. I can use two pieces on the fabric. Yes, I'll use that need to find some fabric then. <coughs> some paper for the inside, pierce my pages. So I'll be back in the blink of an eye. So I've cleaned my desk up, help me for lunch yet, but I'm going to go when I've done this because I've picked my paper that I want. I've masking taped these down just to make it easier on myself. I'll cut the excess off. Once everything is dry, now I do need to, because uh, this paper's not going to fit in one piece, so I will have to cut some off the top and add it down the side, which is not a problem. And this is a Botanica Bella. Uh, from Graphic 45. I wanted to use my Graphic 45 pages because I don't use them very often. Um, this is something nice that I'm keeping, so I feel a bit more justified in using it if that makes any sense. Um, need to start following Marta's advice a little more, I think. Just use it. If you love it, use it. Don't save it for tomorrow. So that's going to go there, and then I only need a small amount for the edge, but I shall trim. Uh, well, I'll just put it down a little bit to make it a bit more manageable. There we are, I have a lovely strip to use on something else. Now, let's glue that down. And then go for something to eat. <laughs> I'm just going to use gel medium. A because it's on my desk, and B, it's a nice strong glue. It will sort of bend with the book as well. Oh, that's something I need. I haven't got a bone folder out, but I can use. or something. Obviously I've left a little gap in between so the book folds up properly and everything. I'm probably doing this the most 
difficult way imaginable but this is how I'm doing it <laughs> now then this is a way that makes sense to me if it doesn't make sense to you don't do it this way and get the paper to crease nicely on the book. Getting the paper used to folding like that. Really straight. Yeah. It dries pretty fast on this in the dark stuff, it soaks in so. And now I shall leave that all to dry. Get something to eat. 
and we'll come back and do the pages. Okay, so I had a little uh, mishap and I've torn the inside. So I've just used some washi tape to fix it. I think my back page was stuck a bit too close to the middle, so I accidentally tore the paper. But yeah, it's no problem. Okay, so. <coughs> Time to do. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, my sewing, and this is the first time I've ever done a five foot pocket stitch, so this could be a learning curve. <laughs> so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have my knots on the outside because I'm gonna cover that up. I've already put my holes in, I've just gone through here and just put my holes in. So we're going up through the middle. This is a nice strong thread. Right. Then it's up this way. Let me come around so I can see what I'm doing. Sorry, my nails are a horrible noise on there. Yep, and then I want to go down through that one. Oh, I didn't get both pieces of paper then. Let's try that again. Gentle pull. Make sure I've got no one through yet. Then I'm going back down through this one. Okay. Then I skip the middle and I go up through that one. really clip the pages together it would be easier but when have I ever done anything the easy way <laughs> again let's put that center and then out of this one down through this one and in through that one if I can find the hole Go, and then we've got a string on either side of this string and we tie a knot. As I said earlier, you can, if you want to, skip these holes here and just have it three hole pamphlet stitch. Or you can just use the binder rings and leave this out altogether. I'm sure there are a lot of other way, methods of binding that you could use in this as well.
got a knot in it. Okay, I'm just gonna move this a bit. <laughs> so I usually cut just a little more than three lengths of your book. Okay, so I shall continue with that. really nice and it would have looked really nice on the outside of the journal. The only reason I'm not doing that is because of this tape that I'm going to be using. I think it will be too difficult to get through with the needle and it's really sticky and gloopy and horrible. So, that's the only reason I wanted it on the inside. Um, I need, let's have a look. Which do I need? This video is not going to be too long. I need another piece. Ah, sticky, sticky. I may come to regret the decision to use this tape. <laughs> Not stick to my fingers. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Done it. And then I have this piece of fabric. Which I'm going to lay on top. Doesn't have to be straight at the edge. It just needs to be nice and smoothly laid down. So I'm going to trim it all the way around. Okay. Didn't get my fabric scissors out, did I? Those other scissors are quite sharp. Oh, just making more and more mess today. It's terrible. Ah, I'm sorry. Hoping that the strength of this tape will stop the fabric fraying. Hoping. I'll try and get this one shot. <laughs> so just cut this down. Try and get it nice and 
straight. It does feel like it's stuck quite nicely to the fabric, so it's good. going to do something that, do I need to move now? I don't know. Do I trim any off? Do I leave it? I might trim just a slight bit off. Just a sliver. Right. Truth. <laughs> Be with my nail polish up to it, but never mind, never mind, you won't see that. And I want to line this up nicely with that writing. And I do think I want to go over that writing with some more black just to make it stand out nicely. because of that stitching. Okay. <sighs> Try and get this back in off. Yep, not too difficult. No. straighten that bit out a little bit. Right, and then I want to cut a little piece out of here. Thank you. 
fold it easier. Don't call it even if they're for folding really. Oh well. Turn that down a tad because it's catching on the pages. Pull it back out again. <laughs> Very sticky tape and it's quite stretchy as well, which is good. Not sure what's going on out there. But there we go. And that's that. So now, just got to add our bits to the Embellishing. Oh, had my <laughs> embellishments. So, show me the game again. Ah. And so when it's already had a little bit of gel medium on it. It's okay. No harm done. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> Let's 
that and then our little thingy on the side and So, that's my journal all finished, and I have popped my photos in, left a page so that I can do a little write-up or something, put the photos in and the names, and I've left a little gap at the side, I'm going to make some tags, um, I need to figure out how to put some of these in, uh, I think washi tape, I've got one or two where I've took more than one photo. So what I might do is, when I start doing my tags, um, sorry, I might um, do some on camera and we'll do a series of that but I think for this video I'm going to leave it here because it's going to be a long one I think. It's come out pretty well. I know that there's a few imperfections, but I'll just show you that it's my book. <laughs> and I've got some space at the back for any future photographs that I want to put in here. Perhaps some Pinterest or something like that. And I've got plenty of room for this to grow with my tags and things, so it's perfect. And I can always add little tippings or whatever if I want to. I was thinking about putting a pocket on the front, but I'm not sure. But it's a nice sturdy journal. Um, I would recommend buying one of these kits. You just get the uh, cover and all the hardware. Obviously the pages I made just from craft card. But well, you can make it from whatever you want. Watercolour paper so you can actually do proper journaling in there cardstock anything anything you wish so I hope you enjoyed that I think the cover came out beautifully and I really like it um, and join me again soon and hopefully we'll be putting some tags into this journal thanks for watching bye